I'm not gonna edit this video like any of my other videos where it's all edited and animations and, and music. I don't wanna waste your time. If your brain can't handle, like, if your dopamine systems are too fucked to handle me and you speaking, like, just like this, with no edits, then just click off now. I'm not, I don't wanna waste your time. If you see this video, you are not normal. Look around you. The average person you see walking on the street. If he sees the type of person you are, if he sees the type of person the type of, the type of person you surround yourself with, you are a fucking weirdo. To these 99% of people, you are a fucking weirdo. Because they can't imagine, they cannot imagine taking risks. They cannot imagine building a business. They cannot imagine waking up at fucking 5am to hit a workout. They cannot imagine cutting out instant gratification. They cannot imagine hating on TikTok. They cannot imagine deleting social media. They cannot imagine the idea of self-improvement. Yesterday I was having a conversation with a bunch of my housemates and... Um, a few of their friends and I told them I hate being not sober and they looked at me like I was a fucking mutant like I was a weird fucker like I didn't belong and you know what they're right I don't belong and you don't belong if you're a young man on self-improvement trying to literally like grow yourself and exponential growth you don't belong with the 99% you don't belong with the average person who's, who's, who walks on the street the guy who smokes weed when he gets home from work the guy who fucking destroys his liver every weekend the guy who jacks off three times a day to fucked up porn you don't belong that's the average man the average person you see out there you don't belong with them so when you look around and you see people like in groups and and you get upset because you don't have a massive friend group. You don't belong with them. You're not meant to have a massive friend group with these people. You're an outlier. You do not belong with them. And now I'm not saying be lonely or that's the complete opposite of what I preach. But you do not belong with the masses. You are not normal. Because we define normality as, as what is common. What, is you, what you see usually. You are not normal. You are a fucking weirdo. I'm a weirdo. I'm, we are weird people. I don't know, it's fine. Just play uh, video games. It's okay. It's just like, you know, just 30 minutes of video games, bro. Just let me, let me just scroll on fucking TikTok, man. It's fine. It's like, it's, it's okay to have fun every once in a while, bro. Fun is a luxury that you and I do not deserve. You and I, we do not deserve this luxury right now. Because we have goals, we have ambitions. And if we stick with instant fun, if we stick with fun right now, bro, that trajectory that I always talk about, it just goes downhill. These normal people, look at the normal, the average person's life. Go to school, go to college, get a shitty job, get married to a wife that doesn't want to even have fucking sex with them. Their kids hate them. Die. And occasionally, you know, you get some fucking like, oh, it's time to get drunk, it's a Saturday night. This is normality. This is the common life. You and I don't want that. And so we suffer now. This is when we suffer while all these people are out there like having fun. This is where me and you struggle and suffer. So that two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight years down the line, we're set for the rest of our lives. Do you think anyone who fucking like struggles at the beginning and then makes it, do you think he ever has to worry again? Because bro, you fuck yourself over when you're young, you're done. It's over for you. You fuck your early years up. Your 20s are meant to be having fun. You're meant to have fun in your 20s, bro. Just go have fucking fun. Go whore around. Your 20s are not meant for fun. If you want success, if you want to achieve your big, big goals, your 20s, your early teens, they are not meant for fun. 
Bro, I am 18 and I'm fucking relentlessly, relentlessly working on Minecraft. Relentlessly working on something that will set me up for the future. Something I believe in. Do you think I see any of these fucking, like, other 18... What, what are the other 18-year-olds doing right now? What the fuck are they doing? They're on fucking TikTok. J jacking off. Getting drunk. <sighs> Alcohol. Alcohol poisoning, hungover. I'm vomiting the next morning. Fun, fun. 15, ye 15 years later, they're fucking suicidal. 15 years later, me and you, we're going to be fucking... We're going to be bowling, bro. We will be up there. Our trajectory goes up. The normal people goes down. So what group are you in? If you see this video, you are part of our group. You are part of our brotherhood. And the reason I'm saying this is because this video it doesn't it doesn't get recommended to the like the average guy. It gets recommended to a very specific person. You probably like already watch other self-improvement content. You know people like Hanza, like Iman Gadzi, like Andrew Tate. You probably already watch this type of content. Of people telling you to get better. And if you continue watching this content. Platforms recommend more and more of it to you. And this is the type of content I put out for you. So if you watch this. If you are watching this right now. You are not normal. You are you are weird. But is being normal a good thing today? L fucking bro. Get outside of your house. And go to like. Go to a bus stop. Literally just walk inside of a bus. That is your average man. Is that a good thing? Because that average man, he's normal. He's just a normal guy. Sometimes, you know, fucking like, he goes back home to his wife, again, who doesn't want to sleep with him. Kids hate him. Sometimes gets drunk. He fucking drinks alcohol daily. I'll just cook open a can of beer and hop on like a uh, footy. Just to turn on some fucking hockey, bro. I don't get this with sports either, but why are you watching another man win? You win, bro. You are, you are like... <sighs> watching sports, in a way, is very similar to watching fucking porn. And you might be like, what? How the fuck is this possible? You're watching another man win. And here, you're also watching another man win. He has the success that you want, and he has the success that you want. He has the woman you want. He has the money, fame, status, power that you want. So instead of just watching that guy, you know, instead of watching fucking Ronaldo score and LeBron James dunk and whoever the fuck, like, instead of watching these people win and you doing nothing for yourself, how about you start doing something for yourself? Because most of these dickheads who watch sports have nothing going for themselves. If you, if you have, if you're building something, if you're, if you're on a path, if you're on a trajectory of growth, fine. Once in a while, watch something that you really, really fucking want to watch. But that's not you. That's not 99% of these people. They watch another man win and wish it was them. They watch another man have that power, the status, the wealth, the women. Wishing it was them. But you build nothing for yourself. Being normal is a curse. Being normal is a fucking curse nowadays. And it's only going to get worse. The rich get richer and the poor get poorer. The happy get happier and, and the, the fucking depressed get more depressed. The addicted get more addicted. The gap is increasing. So what the fuck are you doing? Talking about, oh, it's fine, I just want to... I'll be normal, bro, for a bit. I just want to enjoy my younger years. Your younger years are all you have. They are all you have. Oh, no, it's fine, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm still young. This is where you set yourself up. This is where you use that, that youthful vigor. Because you're never going to be young again. You use that youth to set yourself up for the future. These people look at the present, they're, they're looking at the now. Oh, I just want to have fun now. Instant gratification, instant pleasure. Ah, ah, ah. 
fucking a month later they feel like shit. They're getting sick because of how much they drink. They're getting fucking depressed because of how much porn corrupts, corrupts their mind. They're getting broker and broker. Fatter and fatter. Uglier and uglier. The things that that people do on a daily basis. What does he do? What does the average man do on a daily basis? Eats like shit. TikTok. Goes to work, comes back, fucking smokes. What does the does the average man do any good habits? Picture yourself, bro. What does he does he go to the gym? No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. Medi does he meditate? We are weird because we fucking meditate. We are weird. But it makes us more mindful. And the average person is so mind. 10% are probably still watching this video. It's 10 minutes in, and 10% of the people who clicked on this video. Are still here. 90% have clicked off. And in the next 5 minutes. 95% will have clicked off. Those 5% of you are staying. It's because you're, you're able to pay attention. You're able to focus. It's because of mindfulness. So when people are mindless. And always out of the mind. And thinking shit thoughts. Anxious thoughts. Negative thoughts. That's the normal thing. Because they don't meditate. Because they aren't mindful. Yeah, meditation is weird, bro, but you're the one with the fucking anxious thoughts. You're the one with the negative thoughts. You're the one with depression. I'm weird, but you're the one with the negativity. I'm weird. It's fine, though. Weird. What the fuck even is weird nowadays? You can stay normal. We do not want normality. We know, we know this life of eternal monotony is not what we want. It is infinitely better, and I say this all the time on my other videos, infinitely better to live a life of high ups and high lows because one of these high ups will take you up there and you can never get back down from it. High ups and low lows. A roller coaster, not just, oh, I get out of my mom, I go to school, everyone fucking hates me, I get bullied, I go to uni, I get like a fucking shit job, uh, I start promoting, I level up in my career, shitty wife that doesn't fuck me, shitty kids that don't love me, death. You know the common script, you know what the normal script is like, you've seen it every single day. You have seen the normal scripted life, and you, if you see this video, you do not want that. You don't want that. So when you, again, when you see these people in, in like their fucking parties, smoking weed, taking drugs, because, oh man. I've been there. I've been there. Bro, I've been to the parties. I've done the weed. I've done the fucking drugs. I've done the women. I've done the shitty friends. I've done the nightlife. I've done everything. I've done the hedonistic pleasures. And it's all fucking empty. It's all empty. It's f you, f you come out of it feeling like shit. I've been with the woman. I've been with, with the fucking drugs. The parties. The boys that don't... The fucking... The boys that talk shit behind your back. That prey on your downfall. I've been there. I've been through all of it. It's all shit. It's all garbage. It's all fucking garbage. But that's normal. Normal is garbage. So now do you still want to be normal? Now do you still want to, you know, go out and party and make some shit friends? Or do you want to continue building yourself up? Because people look at me weird now. A lot of people look at me weird. Oh, he's on self-improvement. He takes life too seriously. Bro, I take life seriously so I'm not fucking suicidal in 10 years like you will be. I do the shit that sets my future self up. Tell me what fucking average man reads books. What fucking average man reads books?
When was the last time you've spoken to a person who reads? And don't bullshit yourself. Like a person in real life, not in, in one of the communities. You can join our Brotherhood Discord if you'd like. When was the last time you met a person who reads? When was the last time you met a person who fucking meditates? When was the last person you met who did not have TikTok? You don't know. You don't know. It's because it's common. It's everywhere. I get this a lot from people in our brotherhood. My parents want me to do X. This person wants me to do X. What if they make fun of me? Who are they, your parents, the people you're worried about? Do they have what you want? Or are they just normal? Are they part of the 99%? Because if you listen to someone who doesn't have what you want, who if you listen to someone who is in a position in their life where you don't want to be, you are fucking retarded. Why? Bro, if you are like, if you're a pilot and you're flying your plane and a firefighter just comes up and says, do this, are you going to listen to him? No, you're not. He's a fucking firefighter. What the fuck does he know about planes? You have a heart disease. Are you going to listen to a fucking plumber or a doctor? Fuck's a plumber going to know about your, your aortas, your arteries, your heart? Fuck's he going to know about that? Obviously, you go to the heart specialist. So why do you listen and why do you fear the judgment of people who you don't give a fuck about? You don't want to live like them. Why do you give a fuck about the 99% that is normal? You don't want to live that life. You don't want to live a life of normality. Me drinking that, another 3% of people left. The normal person cannot watch a person have a sip of water. That's how fucked their attention spans are. That's how fucked their, th their racing thoughts are. And that's the type of person you're worried about. That's the type of person you see and think, oh, I, I'm scared. I don't want to build a business because he'll judge me. Okay, I'll listen to him. Because he, you know, he's normal. I listen to him because he has friends that talk shit behind his back. That's the type of person you avoid, you try and avoid judgment from. Who gives a fuck, bro? Who gives a fuck? Prime example, bro, Andrew Tate. Fucking, like, 90% of the world hates him. Do you think he gives a fuck? Who gives a fuck, bro? What the f whatever the fuck they they call him, who gives a fuck? Misogynist, sexist, human trafficker, uh, rapist. He doesn't give a fuck. He doesn't give a fuck. He doesn't. It's literally like a child looking at you and saying, "Uh huh." He looks. He looks like chocolate. He doesn't give a fuck. And that's the mentality that got him up there. And that's a mentality that will get you up there. Don't fucking care about the, the normal percent of people. The 99%. Who gives a fuck? You work and you fucking work relentlessly at your work. You set yourself free. These people are fucking chained. They are enslaved. They are trapped. They are tortured in their own minds. You set yourself free. You set yourself free. Imagine this. You're like a wall of people. Hundreds of people. They're all chained to the wall and they, they can't escape. You start struggling and you start shaking. You're trying to break out. 
and the people are just looking at you like, what are you doing? Why, why are you trying to break the chains, bro? It's fine. Just stay chained to the wall. You try and you try and try. And you break out one arm and this arm is free. The fuck are you doing? Why are you, why are you trying to escape the, 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 the fucking chains? Why are you trying to escape the systems, man? Just stay stuck, stay stuck to the wall. It's okay. It's fine. There's nothing out there. It's fun, you know. Sometimes we speak to each other. You break out the other arm. Suddenly people are scared. How the fuck did he do that? It's because you went through that, that, that phase of people thinking you're weird. And then suddenly you break out. You're not chained anymore. And you can fucking run. You can help the people who are chained. And that's what I'm doing for you. Or you can run and just set yourself free. The average person doesn't go and get smacked in the face. Get him face like fucking trained martial art. The average person doesn't train anything, bro. The average person's like favorite meal is fucking McDonald's. Oh, let's get some Mickey D's and smoke some weed, bro. <laughs> Shameful. Shameful of you to even think about joining the normal people. You should be ashamed if you ever look and think, damn, maybe I should just give up on my ambitions and my goals and the, and the better life that I want to give for my kids and my future wife and my future generation. It's, maybe, I should, maybe I should just go back to smoking weed and jacking off. Instead of building an empire for myself, for my kids, for my wife, instead of providing them the best possible life that they can have, Maybe, maybe I should just go back to fucking smoking weed. Maybe I should just do that. Shameful. You are weird. And so every time, remember this from now on, every time you go out in public and someone says, bro, you're taking life too seriously, you take that as a fucking win. They are offended that you are going to become better than them. They are scared. They are scared. And people have this like fucking pussy behavior of, oh, we are all equal. No, the fuck we aren't. No, the fuck we aren't. If you have that mindset of we are all equal, bro, you are not going to, to improve. We are not all fucking equal. Is the fucking like millionaire who like works out, has a beautiful wife, has beautiful children, is providing his generation his future generations with with like a good life, who has an empire for himself. Is he equal to just some fucking homeless crackhead? You tell me, is he equal? No, we're all equal. We're all humans, bro. Being the same species does not mean you're all fucking equal. Beat other men around you. Not physically, obviously. Like, Beat other men. Compete. Oh, I'm just competing with myself. Go fuck yourself, bro. From now on, you are no longer looking at the 99% and competing. Oh, but I don't want to be... I don't want to look at myself as better than anyone else. Fine. But that energy of com of looking at a man who is better than you and saying, fuck, I'm going to compete with him. And I'm going to see if I can beat him. That's what gets you up there. That's what fucking sends your trajectory forth. You know what I do, bro? You know what I do? I look at, pe at like these other creators in my niche who have like this similar amount of like audience as me. And I fucking compete with them. I like comment on the shit saying, I'm your competition, be careful. And every single time I've done that, I've beat them. 
If you look at, I'm telling you this right now, go look at any other, any other like small, well, right now, small, small, like self-improvement content creator with like 500 subs. Go look at the health of the channel. Do they have an active community? Do they have comments on every video? How are their likes looking? Do they have a brotherhood? How's the health of their channel? It's nowhere near ours. Nowhere near ours. Because we have the right mindsets. Oh, I'm just competing with myself. I want to make it better. Um, my video today will be better than my video yesterday. 1% better every day. No, 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 no. You make sure every single video you fucking upload is 10 times better than that dickhead who wants to take the rewards that belong to you. You're in the gym. Oh, I'm going to try and get, you know, more reps than last time. You do that. And while literally staring at the other guy who's fucking curling five pounds more than you, you say, fuck, next time I'm going to be curling that weight. I'm going to beat him at his strength soon. You go boxing, you spar, and you look him in the fucking eyes and, and you're ready. You're thinking, I'm going to fucking destroy him. Not, oh, I'm just going to work on my technique. And Where is your male aggression, bro? Where the fuck is your, your, your drive for competition? Fuck off Discord, now's not the time. Where's your drive for male competition? It's been throttled, it's been pulled out of you. So do not get sucked into normality. You are weird. But you will win. Because everybody who's up there, every successful man is weird. Do you want to be successful and, and, and viewed as weird by the 99% but you have the 1% that you fucking love and fuck with so hard? Like our brotherhood. Or do you want to be part of the 99%? You take a pick, bro. Our brotherhood will never bow down to the fucking modern weakness. Just be normal, bro. Normal. We are conquerors. We are out here to fucking make it. And if you don't have that energy, go ahead. Join the 99%. But if you do, then become part of us. Join the higher brotherhood today. It's the best fucking, best product I've ever made, bro. But if you don't want to spend money, then just join the fucking, the, the regular Discord. Do not bow down to weakness. Do not bow down to anything. Let them fucking call you toxic masculine and uh, toxic to your... Let them call you whatever the fuck they want to call you. But just wait until you make it up there. The rewards will be unfathomable. Just wait. Me and you... will be set. Just wait. Do not bow down to weakness. If you made it till the end of this video, I'm very proud of you. Your dopamine isn't fucking like absolutely corrupted. And for that, you have my respect. Truly, you do. I'm proud of you and I hope you found value in this and you understood more about life than you did before you watched this 30 minute video. I really am proud of you, bro. If you found value in this, you can subscribe if you'd like. A very, very, it's a win-win for both of us, bro. And um, welcome to our brotherhood.